Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum Update Tuesday, August 20th at 11 p.m. Mountain Time, 2019. As Greenland ice swells, mass gain is up. Check this, 8 gigatons in just two weeks. Multi-decadal average is reached. I hear crickets. You've entered the effing awesome classroom. We've been excommunicated from the Church of Climatology, thankfully. And as snow is predicted in British Columbia, Alberta, and Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado as we end August, the mainstream claims summer heat continues. Keep calm and dab. It is certainly boom time. Summertime sadness, northern BC to get up to one foot of snow this weekend. It already happened. Warnings and advisories Wednesday morning. Snow advisory issued for eastern interior Alaska as the mainstream claims Alaska is burning up and we're all going to die. In the middle of summer, interior Alaska under snow advisory. Mid-August snow puts a bold halt on summer here. We're talking Canada, which is not a shamanada. Tuesday, August 20th, 2019. Winter rudely interrupted summer in the west over the weekend. And a round of soggy weather now follows. Soggy bottom boys much? I love that scene. Hurricane force winds, snow, and yeah, we're looking at the risk of thunderstorms. British Columbia, you have it all. First, the snow really through Tuesday. The first half of Tuesday tapers to scattered wet snow showers later in the day on Tuesday evening. By all, when all is said and done, that's 10 plus centimeters over higher terrain. Sand spit, that's perhaps a hurricane force wind gust for the heck it straight. Northern Vancouver Island gusting 60 to 80 kilometers an hour. And then once that trough crosses over southern BC Tuesday and Wednesday, the risk of scattered isolated thunderstorms for parts of Vancouver Island and across the south coast is on the table Tuesday and Wednesday afternoon. Holy macaroni, what a forecast. Man, that guy kicks ass and he takes names. Snow near Fort Nelson, image courtesy of blippity bloppity blue. Snowfall warnings are still in effect Monday. 30 centimeters of snow is not their fun day. There's the lose day, which was Tuesday. <laughs> Shut that down. News, I knew it. Photos of large hail. Severe storms dump quarter size hail right up your in North Dakota. Let's check it out. Are you dab worthy? Are you packing the honey stick? Hello everyone, we did get a report of some significant sized hail not far from Leeds, North Dakota. This happened at 11.15. Special thanks to Linda Hallisey for sending us these photos. Reportedly, the largest uh, hailstones here were quarter size in diameter. This storm is now moving over the Church's Ferry area and over the Devil's Lake Basin as we speak. More pictures from Linda showing the uh, the duration was uh, considerable. Left quite a bit of the large hail as it worked its way through. Here is a look at that radar right now. and You can see the thunder and lightning working its way into the Devil's Lake. Holy macaroni. I got a big basin. It's moving yeah. right along Highway 2 and moving points right north. Moving right along. Photos of quarter size hail four meters south of whatever. North Dakota. It's the Shimoda. Hail hits Oregon hemp growers hard. That's a hard hit to hemp growers and a to Al Gore and his hole, but barely dents the booming market because this hemp market is exploding. Like I'm smoking a boating. It's still it's still smoking. And this what's what's still smoking in this pipe here is uh seven grams of keef hash of sour diesel straight from Manassas. Oh my god, it's delicious. You can't even imagine. Central Oregon hemp fields took a beating from hailstorms this summer. It wasn't a bummer if you're smoking keef brick. Costing farmers near Tumalu and Culver an estimated $25 million in CBD oil. Oh, my God. Not only that, the market is being crushed. And you see $125 a plant. It's down to 60 bucks a plant, according to people I know in the industry. But that barely put a dent on the booming market, which is a shark it. <laughs> Dropping quickly. Grow cannabis. 
It's way better. Denver weather, thunderstorms, rain in the city, and egg-sized hail possible in the northern plains. There's a good chance that egg-sized hail will fall on your head and cause concussion, sizzling the heat wave that already triggered temperature records in Denver this week. What a tweak. Grand solar minimum much? Damaging winds and large hail in the forecast for Wednesday across Massachusetts. M-A-S-S-A-C-H-U-C-H-U-S-E-T-T-S. Yes. M-I-S-S-I-P-P-I much? Showers and thunderstorms are in the forecast across Massachusetts again Wednesday. National Weather Service said showers and scattered thunderstorms with egg-sized hail will kick your ass and take names. And that's a boom. Thousands of birds killed by baseball-sized hail during Montana storm. Way bigger than eggs and definitely killing birds. Let's check the numbers, Jimmy. More than 11,000 waterfowl and other things coming up. Wetland birds were killed after baseball-sized hail. Chunks of hail fell on Montana Wildlife Management Area this weekend. Holy sh... That... We should have a funeral for those birds. To climate change. We should be retreating already from the coastline, scientists suggest, after finding warm waters below Greenland. Wait a minute. What the fuck are they talking about? Greenland is a continent. How do they find warm waters below a continent? Apparently, EcoWatch doesn't even check its own titles because they don't even make sense. But according to EcoWatch, we're all burning up and the temperature is rising rapidly underneath of the continent of Greenland. But if we're actually talking about the surface of Greenland, ice is building rapidly. In fact, it has kicked up from losing 12 gigatons a day, according to Alarmist, to almost gaining ice. Yeah, in the middle of August. It's nice. Not only that, the DMI already corrected this drop down as an anomaly on their equipment. But people don't care about facts. They just want to smoke the cracks. If all the ice in Antarctica were to melt... How much would global sea level rise? Well, according to the article I just erased, it was like 25 feet. But even if we melted the West Antarctic sheet, global sea level would only rise 3.2 meters. Yeah, that's like 17 feet. So come check the facts. All the links will be low to facts. Now, using the latest numbers from the 2013 IPCC Chart Report, the cryosphere watch page and we'll link you to that or just right click on this actually do your own homework and open link antarctica contains 58.3 meters of sea level equivalent and greenland has 7.3 that means if greenland melts sea levels may rise 20 feet but that would take a hundred to a thousand years after the melt because we need thermal expansion yes it's called physics, or actually thermodynamics, but I digress. Seismic update. One quake of note, 6.0 Solomon Islands. Here, of course, fear mongers will be talking about the New Madrid quake of 2.5, August 20th, 2019. It was a catastrophe. Steamboat Geyser ties historic yearly eruption record, which means nothing except that Yellowstone is definitely not ever going to erupt because it's outgassing. <laughs> These frauds! I hear crickets. Worldwide Volcano News Update. Nothing of note. Normal activity. Check it out. Changes in the atmosphere, not sea ice loss behind bizarre winter weather in the lower latitudes, study suggests. I mean, it's just like disinformation, and there's actually a published paper in nature.com about disinformation. Right here it is. Minimal influence of blippity bloppity blue, Arctic ice, and coincident blah, blah. It's all your fault, though. Yeah. UFOs are coming out of your black hole and altering galaxies forever. It's all very new science. Very new. <laughs> what the fuck? Scientists are 99% sure that they just detected a black hole, which is undetectable, invisible, and eating a neutron star, which is impossible and doesn't exist. So they're 99% sure that they found a non-existent mathematical concept eating a non-existent mathematical concept. 
By the way, that which all look exactly the same, like a donut sharding out of the hole. It's like a sharding donut hole. It's fundamental. We are 99% sure we have no idea what we're fucking talking about. Oh, my God. That's the state of the state of the state of the state. Why are we white screen? What's going on? <coughs> Let's cough off. Despite Elon Musk's alarmist tweet about an asteroid hitting Earth, NASA says there is no known threat. And this page just refuses to load, which is probably pretty important. We'll get to it. No, we won't. Now, despite Elon Musk's alarmist tweet, I missed it. Did you see it? I didn't. Now, according to Elon Musk, we're fluxed. And according to Diamond, he's right. But he's so uneducated, he doesn't understand that 99.9% .9 of objects that fall to Earth are eliminated before they hit because of psh, their electrical charge, especially big objects. Smaller objects hit the Earth because they're not... Anyway... Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX and Tesla, tweeted that a big rock is going to hit Earth and that we are currently have no defense. He's right. He's right. He is correct. This page will not load. So we'll continue. Bank watchdogs approve rule to loosen bang, ban on risky Wall Street trades. They're going to loosen the ban on risky Wall Street trades. They caused the last co collapse, uh, yeah, just 12 years ago. But I hope you're out. Let me just describe what happens here. The red graph represents money that is printed by banks out of thin air based on nothing. They just print money. And the green stuff is actual money or cash. So this is the circulating supply here in 2014, 67 billion. Yet there was 2.2 trillion in hypothetical money being loaned in thin air. Yeah, it's like a Rex bear right down. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. Bank watchdogs approve rule to loosen ban on risky Wall Street trades. Summertime sadness. At the peak of global warming, up to one foot of snow fell in British Columbia. I hope you can smell the doo-doo, because I do.